In America, we're always told that, oh, kids in Korea, they're taught that Americans are all evil and if they see an American, you have to kill them. That's what we yeah. hear. Yeah, actually, that's true. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. So, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Evelyn. What is it? Uh, my name's Carl. So, Evelyn, where are you from? I'm from America. Where in America? I used to live in Denver for three years, uh -huh. and Georgia a year, and Chicago for three years. So, you're seven? Yeah, seven years old. Yes. In seven. America. <laughs> yes. Oh, so where did you live before that then? Before that, I was born in North Korea, and oh. then I escaped to like North Korea to all the way to America. How long were you in North Korea then? 16 or 17. Oh, so you escaped kind of when you were like high school age? Yeah, then? high school age. So how long have you been in Korea then? Four months. Oh, oh, so it's not been too long then? No. How long have you been here? Five years. Wow, yeah. see? <laughs> I mean, you were on the other half of the DMZ, I guess. Have you ever met North Korean before? I mean, I've been in like classes with them and like I've seen them, but I've never like actually talked to anybody before. Why? Just never had the chance. Like, there's so many things that I want to ask you right now, but it's like, I don't know, like, what's kind of stepping over the line. Like, I, I wouldn't want to make somebody feel uncomfortable. But I'm curious, how did you end up, like, escaping from North Korea? Like, is that something that you got to plan, like, a really long time in advance? Yeah, I don't know about the plan much. Like, my mom, she strongly recommended me to go to America. So I go to America by myself, and my mom stayed in China. So I escaped three borders, North Korea to China, China to Laos, Laos to Thailand, and then I ending up with like America. And I used to live in uh, American foster family. Oh, with a foster family over there. Oh, okay. Do you ever miss living in North Korea? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. yeah, I miss the city and my friends. You know, life is not easy if the things goes harder and I know what, what to do there. Actually, like after you've grown up, there's nothing much to do because there's a limit. A lot of rules and a lot of uh, things you cannot do it. You cannot wear earrings, you cannot have hair bangs. Yeah, like don't they have like a certain set of hairstyles? Like this is how you can do your hair yes, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, like Kim Jong-un hairstyle. Oh, right, yeah. Will you do that? <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, you're so stylish. I never seen like American guy have like that kind of hairstyle. Oh, it's like right. you're more like a uh, Korean guy. Because I had a different shoot in the morning and I feel like she did my makeup and hair very Korean today. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. That's why. Okay. Like in America, we're always told that, oh, kids in Korea, they're taught that Americans are all evil and if they see an American, you have to kill them. Like mm -hmm. that's what we hear. Yeah, actually that's true. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Back then in North Korea, I heard about American soldiers. They help South Koreans, so that's why they kill a lot of North Koreans. So they're our enemy, so we have to uh, kill them and like we have to be ready for a fight. Mm -hmm. Like Americans have like big nose and sometimes we draw the poster board and then like make a big nose and make fun of it. Actually, it's not make fun of it, it's just like uh, how describe. Propaganda. Yeah. We did the same thing in America back in World War II, you know. Oh, okay. America isn't exactly clean in that regard, so oh. we aren't exactly guilt-free, so. That's how I learned when I live in North Korea. Mm -hmm. But when I got to got into America, like there's totally different. Like American people are very nice and very kind and they're very welcoming. How about like what uh, American think about North Korea? Um, I think... Kim Jong-un, most of <laughs> Kim Jong-un. A little chihuahua, you know. Mm. It's like they're really loud, but they're like tiny. So it's like, what are you doing? Like, go home, you're drunk. Like, it's kind of wow. like that. Wow, that's actually rude. <laughs> I guess we see it as kind of like you have the big bad North Korean Communist Party. So it's either you're extremely rich and you're evil, or you're really poor and you're suffering under the harsh regime. Mm, you know? I understand. So it's like either one or the other, like with no middle ground. Actually, like North Korea, there is a people are dying for hunger, but like actually there is a wealthy and rich people right. live there. A lot of people think like, oh, North Korea, do you? even have like single even like meal mm. like oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so like some people look very look down that's very rude mm -hmm. yeah I hate right. that I can imagine yeah. I mean like nobody would want to be judged based on stereotypes right of their everybody live different lives everybody have different situation mm -hmm. so like I hate people judging like this do you want to go to North Korea 
Not now. Not now? <laughs> if it were ever to a point where I could go without fearing for my life, then yeah. Mm, I see. Because I, I don't do good with following rules. Like, it's, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna break the rules. It's more of a like, I'm just kind of a dipshit. So Yeah, I just like kinda... everything, you have to follow the rules. Yeah, and like, you know, you hear these horror stories of that one guy. Like, there's so many different stories about what he did to offend the regime. It's like, what, what's... I think actually, if you go to the other country, you have to follow the rules. Mm -hmm. But like, he go there and then he doesn't follow the rules, that's not good. Well, yeah, but I don't think that you should die for it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that is I mean, that I is true. Was... Yeah, like I understand there are certain rules you gotta follow, but the reaction I felt was a bit extreme. North Korean hates American. Yeah, which is why I don't want to go. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a kind of a random question, but do you learn English in North Korean school? No, I never oh, learn English. English. They teach you England English. Oh, from England? Yeah, England English. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Do they teach like foreign languages? They teach Russian at the first because Russian. yeah, it's community countries. So we, we can only watch the community country movies. Oh, so you can watch from other communist countries. Oh, okay. You've seen Disney. Yeah, I watch at Disney. I thought that Disney from Russia or like China come from China. <laughs> So would you watch like a Russian dub? Korean voice actors? Yeah, voice actors. I wouldn't have known that. So you said you've been in Korea for four months now, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm kind of curious because I know that the Korean they speak in North Korea and the Korean they speak in South Korea, like the language is a bit different. If you don't want to, that's fine. But can you kind of do like a North Korean accent? Like what would that sound like? In South Korean, they say like, oh, 괜찮아요. And then in North Korea, 이롭습니다. <laughs> oh. I really like kind of listening to different satsuris and stuff. So could we like talk in Korean for a little bit and you just kind of yeah, talk with the Gukan satsuri? Yeah, I'm not sure how good I am, but I will try my best. All right. 오늘 영상 찍었는데 어떻습니까? 아 오늘 이렇게 북한에서 오신 분이랑 대화를 나눌 기회는 지금까지 없었는데 되게 색다른 경험이었던 것 같아요. 영어도 굉장히 잘하시고. 어 감사합니다. 제 영어 괜찮았습니까? 아 예, 그, 괜찮았어요. <웃음> 어 북한 사투리 되게 귀엽네요. 순하게 들린다고 해야 되나? 더 세게 얘기해야 되나? 야. <웃음> 되게 반가웠어요. 만나. 아 저도 너무 반가웠어요. 좋은 얘기를 나눌 수 있었던 것 같아요. 음. Thank you so much for watching our chat. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.